Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, and it's been a little bit since I had a new news video up. There wasn't too much that was actually coming out, but we have definitely acquired enough news currently to pull together a really nice video. I've just been completely overloaded with so much Jurassic World Dominion stuff that I've begun putting up like two reviews a day just to kind of try to get through everything because there were so many figures released. So hopefully you guys haven't been too overloaded with my reviews and the amount of videos I've been releasing, but hopefully things will calm down here very soon with the Dominion line officially being out. But anyway, we definitely have some news, but before we get into that, please, if you are a fan of this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to be notified of every video I post here on the channel. And if you could do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up, that helps the channel out greatly every time you do that. Anyway, on with the news. The very first thing that I have for you guys is a cool new release coming from Rod's Random Work. He has gone ahead and created himself a beautiful version of the long lost Jurassic Park Carnotaurus prototype. I had seen images of this prototype quite a long time ago and always thought it looked super cool and something I would have definitely loved to have added to my collection but unfortunately the figure never ended up getting released. Luckily for all of us we have incredible artists creating collectibles that we've all been pretty much dreaming over for the last few years like Rod's random work who has pretty much perfectly replicated this carnal Taurus. No word yet on when or if this will be released but I would imagine it will come at some point in the near future and it's definitely one that is very high up on my list of things I'd like to add to my collection. The next thing we have is from Galerme Belinsky Art as we have a look at the progress on his Land Before Time Sarah Triceratops model. You may recall that I had reviewed the Land Before Time Littlefoot model he had released and it was definitely one of the coolest things I've had the opportunity to enter into my collection in a very long time. Really nice, highly detailed models of the Land Before Time characters is something that I honestly never thought I would see in my lifetime, but here we are and we have Galerme Belinsky art to thank for it because he is giving us dream-worthy models if you are a Land Before Time fan. Personally, I grew up on the film as a child, and it holds a special place in my heart, and having the opportunity to actually own models of the characters from the original Land Before Time is such a pleasure. As you can see, the model is now fully finished, and it's perfect in every way. If you are interested in buying one, I'll include a link in the description to the social media accounts of Galerme Belinsky Art, where you can contact him to purchase one for yourself. And then as far as Rebor goes, we officially have been given images of the painted up King Trident. It's nice to know that we have concrete evidence that we will be getting the release of the male Triceratops that has been basically teased for quite a few years at this point. And seeing it fully painted definitely tells us that the figure is coming. Although I don't think it has been clarified quite yet, it seems as though we are getting two different variants. You can see one has a broken horn and one does not. And the paint applications, although very similar, definitely at the same time have quite a different look. I like the fact that the sculpt is slightly different when it comes to the horn and the paint jobs are different yet not too far off from each other because you could create a really cool kind of a herd of Triceratops by buying quite a few of these. This is definitely one Rebor figure I cannot wait to add to my collection. And then as far as the Ancestors line goes, we have a look at their Pyroraptor that will be coming very soon. The release is obviously inspired from Jurassic World Dominion like their previous Atrosoraptor release was. I definitely think that they have done a really good job of replicating the Dominion style Pyroraptor. I'm also really impressed by how good the feather detail looks. There is a lot of life to that sculpt and that's not something you always see when it comes to feathered dinosaur models. Once this officially goes up for pre-order, I will definitely let you all know. And then speaking of raptors, and as far as Prime 1 goes, it looks as though they are releasing more of their Prime Collectibles models. They have recently revealed a 1 10th scale Velociraptor Echo model coming from them, and I'm not sure how I missed the reveals of these other figures, but they are also going to be releasing the Velociraptors Charlie and Delta. They have already put up a pre-order quite a while ago for Velociraptor Blue, but I had no idea they were releasing the other Raptors in the Raptor Squad as well. So as far as I can recall, this is the first time any company has offered the full Raptor Squad from Jurassic World in a high quality model release. Although we know the paintwork will definitely differ from what we see in the promo images here, I have some pretty high hopes that what they will offer us on the final product will be quite nice, or at least I hope so. 
so far the only new figure from this line that has been released so far was the Tyrannosaurus Rex and I personally thought that was really nice but I have seen some others complaining about theirs not looking so great so we can only hope that their paint applications are a little more consistent and definitely improve on these newer releases because if so this will definitely be a fantastic release for any Jurassic World fan. And then as far as Marco makes and Alex Kendrick goes, the Kingdom Collection has officially unveiled another upcoming bust. They just keep pouring on the greatness when it comes to this line, and this is one of the most exciting of all because they are releasing a male Lost World Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus bust. When it comes to the JP style Tyrannosaurs, although I do love the female Rexy versions, I personally am a bigger fan of the male Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus because I just really love the bulkiness of the animal as well as the really cool color schemes. So knowing that there is a male version coming from the Kingdom Collection is very exciting and I cannot wait to see what the fully painted up version looks like. Don't forget if you are interested in any of these incredible Kingdom Collection busts that you can purchase them right now or many of them at the very least on the kingdom collection etsy shop i will include a link in the description straight to that shop where you can head on over there and add some of these incredible models to your collection as far as the beasts of the mesozoic goes we have a look at our very first fully painted hatchling from the ceratopsian series this is the baby Diablo Ceratops, and I really think David has outdone himself on this one yet again. The Beasts of the Mesozoic series is responsible for some of the best dinosaur models on the market, and having the ability to now add hatchlings to your Ceratopsian series really is the icing on the cake for that line. This little baby looks absolutely stunning as far as both the sculpt and the gorgeous paint scheme that he has come up with. We also have a look at the first sample from the factory of the Fans Choice Medusa Ceratops and I know many people were really looking forward to this one, myself included, due to how incredible the paint application looked on the prototype and it is definitely nice to see that the paint scheme from the prototype to the factory released version has translated really well which means that we will all have the opportunity to own one of the most beautiful Ceratopsian figures of all time when this officially releases. Then as far as Christian Lopez goes, I had shown off some work of his on a young Tyrannosaurus based on the Lost World Jurassic Park young Tyrannosaurus. He has officially finished the sculpt and it is available for sale as of right now. Basically what you need to do is download the files, well you would have to purchase them of course, and then download the files and then send the files to someone that does some sort of 3D printing or of course you can print them for yourself if you do have a 3D printer to uh... Add this incredible model to your collection. He does not actually print them and sell them himself. He just sculpts them out and then sells the files online. So you would again have to purchase the files and have them either sent to somebody else and then have them print it out and ship it to you. Or of course print it for yourself if you do have a 3D printer. But as far as this model goes, he 100% nailed the sculpt of this. Like his previous Tyrannosaur release, this is about as screen accurate as it gets and about as highly detailed as it gets when it comes to a young Tyrannosaurus model like this. If you are interested in picking up this beauty, I will include a link in the description straight to where you can purchase the files for this right now. And conveniently, I actually have someone that has recently begun a brand new business called Paleo Prints where they have a 3D printing business to print out different prehistoric releases. They actually own numerous different models themselves and are in collaboration with many different artists currently to bring you a large variety of sculpts that you can purchase from them. But in an instance like the Christian Lopez Tyrannosaurus, you can also purchase the files from Christian Lopez and send them to Paleo Prints to have the model printed out and then shipped back to you as well. Paleo Prints has a large selection of incredible models in their store that you can purchase for yourself and I really do recommend checking them out as I will include a link to Paleo Prints in the description. They really have some beautiful models on there from many different artists and is a great way to increase your collection with some of the best prehistoric models out there. Make sure you check the link down there in the description and head on over there to browse around and see all of the beautiful Paleo art from Paleo Prints right now. And then as far as Nanmu goes, the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus has officially gone up for pre-order as of right now. We have these full model images showing off just how incredible this release is going to be. If you are a fan of the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus, then in my opinion this one is definitely a must-have. I have reviewed all of the different variants of the Brachiosaurus from Nanmu on my collection previously up until this point, and I can say with confidence this looks to be the flashiest and most visually appealing Brachiosaurus of all. If you are interested in this, I will include a link in the description to where you can pre-order this fantastic Nanmu release right now. 
Nanmu has also been unveiling some really cool images of their upcoming Spinosaurus to us, basically just teasing us with how good the insane amount of detail is on this figure, as well as a look at their first unpainted prototype to just generally show us how beautiful it is. On top of that, they've also teased us with an image here showing off some of the paint application for it, which looks to be about as picture perfect as it gets if you ask me. Even though the previous Spinosaurus from Nanmu was honestly amazing, I definitely think this will be their best one yet. And then a huge thank you goes out to Josiah Leeton as well as CJK Nightmare on Instagram for the following images. But we have a look at some of the really cool Imaginex Jurassic World figures. I'm not always a big fan of the Imaginex line, but they do produce some really cool stuff at times. And some of these I definitely will be picking up because they look like some really cool and obviously exaggerated versions of quite a few of the different species for Jurassic World Dominion. And I definitely really love that Therizinosaurus specifically. But we also have a look at the Gujitsu minis that will be released again thanks to Josiah Lee and CJK Nightmare on Instagram. They as well definitely look fun and if you are a fan of the larger Gujitsu figures I think that you will absolutely love these. It really is an amazing time to be a Jurassic fan because there is just so much merchandise coming from everywhere right now. It's honestly almost overwhelming to see how much we have releasing for the Jurassic World Dominion line. And speaking of being overloaded with incredible Jurassic World figures, the Pop Funko line as well has unveiled a ton of stuff for us. You can see looking through these images of all of the Pop Funkos we will be receiving over the next few months for the Jurassic World Dominion line that there really is a lot to choose from. I don't normally collect the Pop Funkos except from time to time when I encounter one at a decent price, but there are certainly some in this line that I definitely need to get my hands on like that extra large Giganotosaurus. I do believe a a lot of these are actually available for pre-order right now on Big Bad Toy Store along with a ton of Mattel Jurassic World figures for anybody that might be interested. And again thanks to Josiah Leeton and CJK Nightmare on Instagram but we have a look at the Dominion Zoom Riders as well. This is another really cool line of Jurassic World style dinosaur cars that I do own quite a few of in my collection and it's nice to see so many more coming out for this line especially when it comes to having a Carnotaurus this time around. I'm not sure if these have officially released or not yet, but I definitely hope to see them show up here in the United States at some point. And then this one comes thanks to Collect Jurassic, but as far as Mattel goes and the Jurassic World Dominion toy line hitting Target on Monday, officially, we have an old set from Mattel making a return in new packaging as we have this awesome Gyrosphere set. This is a set that I did purchase for my son the first time around it was released, but I never ended up getting it for myself, so knowing that it is re-released and has some beautiful new packaging is really awesome because I'll have an opportunity to actually pick this one up for myself. I didn't see this at my local Target when I was there on Monday, unfortunately, but I have heard of numerous others finding it at theirs, so if you missed it the first time around like myself, then you'll hopefully have a chance to snag it this time around as well. And the final thing, and again, as far as Mattel goes, we have a look at some new mini sets coming from them. A huge thank you to both Dino Mike Mac on Instagram as well as Collect Jurassic, but these sets are also completely overloaded with beautiful minifigures. I recently reviewed the entire Wave 1 of the minifigure line here on the channel, and I was really impressed overall with how nice the new minis are, so seeing these new sets coming from Mattel definitely has me hyped to get a hold of them and add even more of the really nice new minis to my collection. I'm even more excited to see that they have included all four of the Atrociraptors from Jurassic World Dominion, so it will be really cool to have the ability to enter that entire group into our collections in mini form. These are as well up for pre-order currently on Entertainment Earth, and I have seen pre-orders on Big Bad Toy Store as well, so make sure you check those websites out if you would like to add these to your collection and pre-order them now so you don't miss out on them later. So as of right now, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.